<clears throat> Tayo po muna yung manalangin pala. Heavenly Father, Lord God, all praise and greatness is yours. Almighty Father, in the name of our Deus Lord Jesus Christ, we pray to you, Lord God. First, Lord God, pray to you, we pray to you, Lord God, to confess, to confess, Lord God, na wala pa akong kakayahan, na wala pa akong alam, Lord God. I rely, I rely so much my faith, and pati po, Lord God, yung yung pananampalataya ko, Lord God, pananampalataya po namin, Lord God, sa kung ano po yung nire-reveal niyo po sa amin. And for that, Lord God, for this moment na pinagkaloob niyo po sa akin, Lord God, na na, na i-exhort, na, na ibahagi, Lord God, kung ano po yung ina-exhort niyo, Lord God. I pray to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, to please, may, may you, may you please, Lord God, stand before me, Lord God, May you please, Lord God, use me as as your worthy vessel, Lord God, para po, Lord God, i-relay po, Lord God, kung ano po yung gusto niyo pong i-exhort sa, sa mga nakikinig, sa lahat po na, na andito, pati din po, Ama, yung mga nakikinig din po, Ama, sa, sa net. I pray to you, Lord God, na may you please control my mouth, na kung anong sasabihin ko, Lord God, is lahat po yun, Lord God, is maging ayon po sa salita niyo po, ayon po sa sa kalooban niyo po, Ama. Kung meron man po ako masasabi, Ama, na, na hindi po karapat dapat, hindi po tama, uh, I pray to you, Lord God, na po, Ama, may you please control my mouth na hindi ko na po maibanggit yun. And also, Lord God, please, Lord God, touch the hearts ng lahat ng nakikinig, Lord God, lahat po na nasa sambahay na nato Lord God, pati po sa mga sariling bahay nila. Nawa, Lord God, they will be able to to accept your exhortation, Lord God, na ibabahagi niyo po sa kala. May they be able to accept it, Lord God, for for the betterment of each one's faith, Lord God, and for your glory, Lord God. Almighty Father, all this, all this I ask of you, Lord God, in the mighty name of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. May buksan po natin yung Uli Bible natin sa John chapter 15 verses 1 to 5. Okay na ba? Okay. 1 to 5. Okay na ba? So, it goes. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Praise God. Diyo tayo na pong magsiupo mga kapatid. Kailan ko makabaka na? Hindi na. Okay. Okay. Um, press down. Um, yung team po, yung title po ng exhortation nito is the fruit we bear okay. being the branches being the vine now referencing dun sa verse yung verses uh, yung verse po na binasa natin kanina let us lay out kung gaano hinanin tulad ng ating panginoon yung yung regarding sa sa vine and the branches and the husbandman una is yung dios god Next to it is the Lord Jesus Christ, and then comes us, the true believers. 
Okay? True believers, kasi the true believers, it believes on the word. Na the al, the yung word na walang halo, yung word na hindi adulterated. Now next to it, kung ganon yun tulad sa 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 farming or sa, sa vine comes God, which is the husband man. The husband man, just to clear out, um, the husband man, yun yung tao na nagkukultivate ng ng lupa, yun or mas familiar sa 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 term na farmer. So God being the husband, uh, God being the farmer, tapos the Lord Jesus Christ is the vine, the true vine. Tapos tayo the branches. To to relate it with with the word, it's like this. Yung Dios siya yung source ng salita. He's the source of the word. Tapos the Lord Jesus Christ is the word himself. Tapos tayo being the true believers we believe we are the believer of the word okay now applying both the word and also the vine comes this una yung Dios yung siya yung farmer he's the one who attends to the entire tree yung punong ubas bakit siya yung attend ng punong ubas because all the fruits of that of that tree it will glorify yung glory nun dun papunta sa farmer. In the same way sa sa real life natin sa mundong to, pag maganda yung puno, pag maganda yung pag pag maganda maraming bunga yung yung puno before inaano yung puno, ina-acknowledge kung sino nag-aalaga ng puno. In the same way sa 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 vine napupunta sa sa Dios yung glory. Next to it is Jesus Christ being the vine, he fully depends on the farmer or the husbandman. Tulad ng sinabi ng ng ating Panginoon na he seeks not his own will, pero but rather the will of the Father. That's how dependent our our Lord is. And when it comes to us Like the like the branches, nung binasa natin kanina, we, being the branches, is also fully dependent on the vine. Okay? We're fully de- the, the, the branches is fully dependent on its vine. Para for it to bear acceptable fruit. Okay? Now, why is it dependent? Because yung nourishment na makukuha ng branches, manggagaling sa vine mismo. Hindi siya makapag-produce ng sarili niya. Ganun ka-dependent. Kung, kung ang vine is dependent sa farmer, tayo dependent din sa vine. Okay? Now, what is the acceptable fruit? The acceptable fruit, mga kapatid, it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Now, why the Holy Spirit? Okay? Because, do maraming reasons, but I... What I can clearly explain is tatlo, three main reasons that I can think of, or yung na na napalimog sa akin. First is because the Holy Spirit testifies about the Word. Okay. Next is the Holy Spirit is our comforter, and tapos the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Same thing, since the Holy Spirit testifies about the Word. Siya din yung comforter, tsaka yung teacher natin. Kasi wala tayong inaasahan na magtuturo sa atin tungkol sa silita. Hindi tayo umaasa sa doctrines, hindi tayo umaasa sa mga mga seminaries or mga schools, colleges, mga theology. We don't depend on it. We depend on the Holy Spirit. Same way sa student-teacher relationship, kung anong ituturo ng teacher, yun yung ilalabas ng isudyante. In the same way, like, para makarelate, same sa, since, teacher-student relationship, let's pick on, on a subject na makarelate din yung mga little brothers natin. Let's say, a math, math subject. Yung math teacher, when he, teach, when he teaches his students about math, ang, ang feedback makukuha niya sa sudyante niya is pertaining to math din, hindi ibang subject. So in the same way, the Holy, the Holy Spirit teaches us and comforts us about the Word. So, yung ibubunga din natin is kung anong tinuturo ng Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, 
speaking of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, okay, as per sa Galatians, referencing on Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23, <coughs> excuse me, the fruit is Love, whoa, sorry, sorry. Uh, but I didn't move my leg. Sorry for that. Sorry for sorry for that. Uh, so, the fruit. Uh, what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? First is love. The love here. Well, we know what love is. Pero what we're referring to is yung love, love that is acceptable to God. Hindi yung earthly love. Next is joy. Tapos comes peace. Tapos long suffering. To speak about long suffering, mga kapatid, just to share, kasi dati, nag, nagkamali din kasi, umabot din ako sa, sa point na nagkamali ako ng pag about long suffering. Long suffering, it doesn't really mean, akala ko kasi long suffering, parang pinagtugba lang na suffering tapos long, na maghihirap ka na matagal. That's what I thought. So, since na-correct na, na ako, and, though, and so I want to share it to you also, long suffering means having patience or showing patience sa despite na may troubles tayo hindi troubles sa tayong may gawa pero gawa ng ibang mga tao na dahil doon tayo yung tayo yung nagsasuffer tayo yung nag endure that is long suffering so it's it means more on uh, uh what is more patience dahil sa troubles sa ginawa ng ibang tao na tayong naapektuhan okay Next to long suffering is gentleness, comes goodness, tapos faith, the faith that comes from God. Next is meekness. Now, just to clear out about meekness also, mga kapatid, meekness is, yun nga, from the word meek, it's the condition of being meek, which is quiet, tahimik, which is also, since meek, yung tao, siya yung things can, if tao is meek, madali siyang, madali ma-impose sa kanya yung mga bagay-bagay at madali siyang mapasunod. So, in, in, in terms, submissive ang tao pag meek siya. Okay? And then, the ninth is temperance. <clears throat> temperance, mga kapatid, same with long-suffering, of which nagkaroon din akong mal, ng maling pagkaintindi dati, of which I was been corrected, and so I would like to share it to you also. Okay. Temperance. Dati kasi ang alam ko, temperance root word temper eh. Pero it's not just temper. Temperance comes from um, self-control or more on self-restraint. More most especially, it's self-control or abstinence from alcoholic drink. Self-control also from eating. So it's more on uh, moderation or self-control from, from eating and drinking okay, na ine-impose ng tao sa sarili niya. So, if a believer has temperance, ine-impose niya sa sarili niya na he has to control himself from drinking alcohol. The reason, when, when well, unang Diyos, I'm so thankful of God. Kasi dati, when I was reading the Bible, ang, nariri, ang parati ko nababasa, drunkenness, drunkenness, drunkenness. Pumasok sa isip ko, I was thinking, drunkenness. Walang sinabing bawal uminom. Ang nabasa ko, bawal maglasing. So, that was the wrong wrong idea of which I have to admit, baka dinaya ako ng kalaban. But then, unang Diyos, after, after contemplating sa, sa fruit of the Holy Spirit, it's there pala, it's hidden in the word temperance, which is abstinence from alcoholic drink. Though hindi nakasulat sa Bible na do not drink alcoholic drinks, pero the fruit itself speaks of it. The fruit itself speaks of it na uh, abstinence from alcoholic drink. Of which, makasulat din, if we drink, it should be for the glory of God na we drink. Now, mga batid, 
It says fruit of the Holy Spirit, but yet it's nine. Nine elements. Let me say nine elements. Pero ang tawag hindi fruits. Even when you say, uh, even pag tinimu sa, sa, Gal- sa Galatians chapter 5, it does not speak fruits. Tulad ng binasa natin, it speak only fruit. Isa. Because though it's nine, it is presented as one. It's one that has many elements. Same with, same with the church, the mystical body of Christ. It's one, but it has many members. Same with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's one, but it has many elements or nine elements in it. Okay? So, kaya pag sinabi na fruit of the Holy Spirit, lahat niyan, not part of it. That's why we cannot say fruits of the Holy Spirit. Okay? You cannot say, I have nine out of five fruits. Pero it's just only one fruit. Okay? So, speak that speaking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, next to it is, <clears throat> if there's a fruit from the Holy Spirit, Satan himself, knowing Satan, he will do everything to deceive. If there's a fruit of the Holy Spirit, Satan has his own counter against the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Same with uh, Galatians 5 then, verses 19 to 21. If we have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, there's also, well, there's love. I hope nababasa niyo pa pala yung love. Masyado yata maliit. But anyway, yung fruit is love. Satan, he also has his counterpart, which is works of the flesh. Okay? Now, sa paghimihimay ko, it's possible, mga kapatid, na meron pang maraming madagdag doon, pero these are the closest thing that can be countered against the, the, the fruit. So, if it's love, yung work of flesh doon is hatred, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, tapos adultery. Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, uh, idolatry. Now, hatred, on its part, yun talagang obvious na na, na, na opposite ng, ng love. The other three, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, it's the misrepresentation of love. Masyado siyang makabundo. Do kaya nga sabihin mo yung, yung mga ibang mga let's say let's go for fornication. I think pakiki pakikiapid yata in Tagalog. Pakikiapid. Sabihin lang kasi nagmamahalan kami kaya ganun. Pero it's not. It's not love. It's more on a fleshly call, a lustful call. It's not love. Ginawa lang yun, ginawa lang ni Satan is to to sugarcoat it, to present it as something else. Para para ma- ma-adulterate, para ma- para makorap ko ano yung totoong yung yung totoong love idolatry though it worships but it doesn't worship god it worships yung ko ano mga yung y- g- gawa ng gawa ng kalaban okay now if there's the works of flesh next to it is the absence so okay so <clears throat> so the fruit if if the fruit is love the absence of love is hate so next we proceed iisa-isahin natin uh, I hope you'll bear with me brothers and sisters iisa-isahin natin yung mga fruit ay yung fruit next is joy of which yung work of the flesh nun is hatred and then the absence of joy is sadness misery and distress we can relate this one sa joy like sa atin mga true believers Mapapansin nyo, when we share to each other yung salita, pag nagsisharing tayo, there is joy inside our hearts. May kagalakan na maybe my times if, let me say, like ako nararanas ko sa trabaho, may ginagawa akong trabaho, trabaho, tapos biglang may magtatanong sa akin about something. Yung tipong mapapahinto ka na kahit gano'n pa ka-emergency yan, willing kang iset aside yan kasi makipag-sharing ka kasi yung kagalakan mo andun, nasa loob. Now, on the absence of it, Pansinin niyo kung magsi-share kay sa hindi mananampalataya, try to share. Makikita mo yung yung frown sa mukha niya. Na mag-iisip siya mas mabuti pa iba na lang pag-uusapan compared sa yung pagsasal- pag-uusapan is sharing tungkol sa salita ng Diyos. Okay? Now, next to it, um peace. From peace, yung work of flesh ng peace is variance and seditions. Variance itself Kung yung peace, variance is, yung essence kasi ng variance is yung pagdi-disagree, quarreling. 
So, in it is parang nagkakaroon ng medyo kayo sa loob. Seditions, seditions, kung ano natin talaga yung, yung meaning ng seditions is to entice, to entice people, okay, to speak to other people, to entice them to rebel. <clears throat> Though it parang more on political yung dating niya, pero sa spiritual part is, that's why there is, what's this, fraction or divisions <clears throat> within a church or yung mga denominational churches because there are some na nag entice sa ibang mga tao na tungkol sa sa pag sa pag hindi sa pagsunod. Okay? Now the absence of peace which we know is conflict. Next is gentleness. Yung works of flesh ng gentleness is wrath and strife. Uh, strife. Sorry. Now Where am I? Sorry, I jumped. Long suffering pala. Long suffering. Yung works of flesh ng long suffering is murder. Why murder? Kasi yung pinakamalapit sa, yung sa Galatians chapter 5. Because kung ang tao is wala na siyang pasensya. Yung tipong hindi na kaya ng patience dahil sa troubles na, na nakokos ng ibang tao sa kanya, it leads him. Yung, yung the extreme of it, it leads him to kill. Kaya may mga cases ng mga murder, bakit? Puno na, napuno na, napuno yung tao, hindi na niya kinaya. Whatever his reasons is, ganun din yun. He ran out of patience dahil sa ginawa ng, kas- ng kasalanan ng ibang tao. Okay? Now, absence of long-suffering is impatient and complaining. Sometimes, ako din mga kapatid, guilty din ako dito. Paminsan-minsan, pag nasa work ka, Naiinis ka sa katrabaho mo. Ano naman ang trabaho? Dapat ginawa niya to. Ako yung nadadamay. Ako yung nag-aayos. I have my fair share of it. Ngayon pala. That's why when I was drafting this one, in some way, parang tinatamaan ko na yung sarili ko. So, part of it is impatient. And then the other one is panireklamo. Okay? Of which, we are supposed to be, we, we should have long patience. In the same way na, na yung, yung, Heavenly Father natin has yung patience na is sobrang taas sa atin. We, being sons and daughters of God, should, should show that kind of patience as well. Next is gentleness. Okay, dito pala po. Of which, yung works of flesh nun is wrath and strife. <coughs> wrath is extreme anger. Yung sobrang galit. Hindi lang siya ordinary na galit. Yung galit na galit talaga na sobrang gigil na. And then strife, though strife is disagreement then, pero there is bitterness already inside that person. Okay, kaya hindi na ganun ka, ka gentle. Now, yung absence nun is yun nga, hardness, roughness, and impervious. Impervious is type of hardness na hindi siya, it doesn't allow entrance or passage. Okay, ganun siya katigas. Spiritual, kung paano natin siya marerelate sa spiritual, mapapansin nyo may mga tao na sharingan mo yung, kasi yung tao na yung malapit sa puso mo. Kahit anong share, share mo sa kanya, sobrang tigas ng stand niya. Kahit na, kahit na alam niya mali siya, sobrang tigas ng stand niya na hindi niya tatanggapin. He will not allow, he will not allow yung kung anong isi-share sa kanya, he will not allow na mag access sa loob ng puso niya yon Ganun na katigas yung stand niya. Okay? So it doesn't just mean na na outward appearance yung, yung hardness but it also means yung character nun next is goodness of which yung works of the flesh nun is envyings yun na yun, envyings pag, pag envy now the absence of goodness is cruelness and wickedness okay now comes the next one is faith of which yung works Yung faith, faith pertains to, faith pertain, that pertains to God. Okay? Now, the works of the flesh there is witchcraft. Why witchcraft? Ito yung pinakamalapit kasi na ma, ma, maisip ko. Why witchcraft? Mga kapatid, aaminin ko, lumaki ako sa, yung nakalakihan ko is, alam niyo yung, nanin, bisaya eh, hindi ko alam pa nung Tagalog. Um, Aside sa pamahiin, you have this thing na 
sa mangga, hindi naman manggagamot. We, we, we call albularyo. Albularyo. The closest one is albularyo. Kung tingnan niyo kung gaano pinepervert ng kalaban ni Satan yung yung fruit. Ha? Faith, may faith naman yung tao na lalapit sa albularyo, for sure naniniwala siya sa Diyos. But come to think of it, pag lumalapit sa albularyo, example na example is pinag ang sasabihin pinaglaruan ng ng mga spirito, pinaglaruan. Instead ng nilapitan na albularyo, instead of bringing it close to God, ang sasabihin, ay, try nyo mag-alay. Mag-alay kayo dyan. Or kung example may mawawala, sasabihin, o oh, sige, sige, hayaan nyo, ipagdadasal ko to sa, sa patron ng ganito, ganito, ganito. Instead of, instead of bringing the person back to God. Do, may, pero may faith dun. Pero nakarelay na yung tao dun sa albularyo. Instead, natatakbo sa Diyos. So that's how, yun. Now, the absence of faith is disbelief which is unbelief and rejection so pag wala ng faith yung tao same like yung sa gentleness sa yung impervious na yung hardness ng tao pag dis, pag wala ng faith yung tao what he has is re, is disbelief nare-reject na niya what will happen in it kahit anong share mo noon tulad sa sa expectation guys sinabi ng atin nakakatanda ng kapatid reject na yun ng reject. Kahit gano'n naka-obvious yung sharing, kahit gano'n na, kahit yung revelation na, na, nasa harap na niya, because he doesn't have the faith. Because yung yung fruit of the Holy Spirit, okay, which is part of it is faith, wala. It's not there. Kaya, ang gagawin niya, wala siyang faith, he rejects. Parati na magre-reject. Kung ano na lang yung alam niya, hindi niya niya tatanggapin yun. Okay? Next is meekness. Diyan ang sinabi ko, um, submissiveness, yung mabilis siyang mapasunod. Yung works of the flesh nun is emulations and revelings. Emulations, mga kapatid, this is one of the characters, one of the characters of Satan. Emulsions, yun yung ambition na pumantay tsaka humigit. This is emulsion. In the same way, when Satan, when he was Lucifer during that time, yes. the cause of his fall was gusto niyang humigit. Gusto niyang pumantay, gusto niyang humigit, gusto niyang higitan yung Diyos. This character ng emo, uh, emulation, galing sa kanya to. Ito yung talaga talagang galing sa kanya. That's why, pag hindi meek yung tao, instead na quiet lang siya, may, may tendency na gusto niyang higitan. Ma- may inggit siya tapos gusto niyong higitan yung tao. Now, the absence, uh, the revelings pala is if yung meek is quiet lang, parang discreet lang. Yung yung revelings naman is it has pleasure and delight in luxury. Okay? So, hindi na ganun ka modest, kundi yun yung mga mabling-bling. That's one of it. Now, the absence of it is The absence of meekness is arrogance, pride, tapos daring to do something. Arrogance, alam natin, arrogante. Pride on itself includes conceit. Yung conceited yung tao. How do we relate it with faith na conceited? If you'll see mga kapatid, yung mga ibang, uh, for sure may nakasharingan kayo ng mga ibang denominations, yung sasabihin nila ay hindi. Yung tama kami, yung church namin yung tama, Yung iba nga nagsasabi, yung church namin, dito ka maliligtas. Pero tulad ng napagsirengan dati, yung, yung tinuro sa atin ng mga nakakabandang kapatid sa atin, isa lang yung tama, yung Diyos. Amen. So lahat ng acknowledgement, <clears throat> lahat ng, ng praise, dapat binibigay sa Diyos. Amen. Isa lang tama, ang Diyos yung tama, sumusunod tayo sa salita ng Diyos. Amen. Yun. Next to it is daring. Pag hindi namik yung tao, yun. Yun yung parang dinidare mo yung tao. Most of the there, yung mga there there, it's something na either risky or hindi safe or delikado. That's so, yun yung absence nun. So next is temperance. Yung sa works of the flesh, yung, op- yung extreme nun, yung opposite talaga nun, is drunkenness. And then its absence is alcoholism, wildness, carelessness, Agitation. 
if kung papansin mo, isa lang yung do alcoholism, mahilig uminom. Kahit hindi pa siya lasing. Pero umiinom ng umiinom. Which is very contrary sa self-control. Self-control or controlling oneself against drinking alcoholic drinks. Kahit hindi pa malasing yan. When the person drinks, and then when he drinks alcoholic drink, and then he doesn't glorify God sa pag-inom niya, for sure it falls under it. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong mga kapatid. Okay, so isa lang. Pag-check mo yung apat na yan, yung tatlo, wildness, carelessness, and agitations. Kung paano siya naging, um, nag-represent siya ng absence of temperance, it's because kung walang self-control yung tao, more on, pakawala. Yung mga ibang mga, may mga kilala tayong tao na hindi manalapat tayo, parang yung attitude niya, parang pakawala siya. Parang walang kakontrol-kontrol sa sarili niya. Sobrang careless na careless. And aside from that, and such like. Yeah, yung sad and such like, nilagay ko between works of the flesh and absence, it's because, mga kapatid, yung gawa, yung methods ng kalaban, yung methods ng, ni Satan, it's many. Unlike Satan, he will always find ways to deceive us. Even the very elect, pipilitin niya yung i-deceive yun. And because of that, his methods, he will, um, he will, see to it na his methods will also evolve in order to deceive us. Kasi kung hindi nag evolve for sure, ang temptation ni Satan, golden calf pa rin. Tulad ng unang panahon. Pero he knows na golden calf, it will not work on this, on this age. Okay? Now, so proceeding, the fruits we bear, since the title is the fruit we bear, um, the bearing of the fruit. How should we bear the uh, how should we bear the fruit? First, it should be without partiality. What I mean my uh, brothers and sisters na without partiality. <clears throat> Kasi ito yung fruit of the Holy Spirit. I have to admit and I, for sure to, uh, um uh, kayo. All of these are so good. When a person has this, it's so good. What I mean by with partiality because there are some persons they have the fruit of the Holy Spirit pero they only give it they only show it sa mga sa mga taong pinapanigan nila okay yung mga friends nila close ones nila loved ones family dun nila pinap, dun nila binubuhos yung fruit of the Holy Spirit dun nakikita sa kanila yung fruit of the Holy Spirit okay pero we have to understand yung tulad ng sinabi ng ating um Panginoon, about loving the enemy. Even dun sa mga tao na hindi natin gusto, we should we should show, the, pati yung fruit of the Holy Spirit, it should be also for them. Kailangan din, makitaan din tayo nun, dun sa mga tao na hindi, na, let me say, hindi, hindi sa hindi friends, baka siguro kalaban or something like that. In the same way na, yung, yung Diyos, God makes the sun rise, to the evil, and to the good. God also sends, tulang sabi ng ating panunginon, God also sends the rain to the just and to the unjust. So in the same way, when we show the fruit of the Holy Spirit, regardless of who the person is na kaharap natin, the fruit should be shown. Kailangan, kailangan magre-reflect yung fruit ng Holy Spirit. Okay? Next to it, in bearing the fruit, it should be without hypocrisy. Okay? Hypocrisy, yung pagkukungwari. It's claiming na it has the fruit, pero wala pala. What I'm ready to say is, an example for, for it is, pinapalabas ng tao, for the sake kasi may, 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 nakaka, may nakakakita sa kanya, papalabas niya na nasa kanya yung fruit. Papalabas niya na he's peaceful. Papalabas niya na love niya yung kalaban niya. Pero deep inside him, Deep inside that person is yung hatred niya, yung anger niya, nagbibuild. Hindi lang niya maipalabas kasi may, may tumitingin sa kanya. That's why the, the bearing of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, it should be without hypocrisy. Okay? Next! Oops. Um, sorry. Okay. Down. Oh, thank you. Next, bearing of the 
fruit of the Holy Spirit, it should always be consistent. <coughs> Why? Because that fruit is from the Holy Spirit. Why is it from the Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit testifies about the Word. Amen. The Holy Spirit comforts us and teaches us about the Word. Amen. Now, speaking of the Word, the Word is Jesus Christ. Okay? It should be consistent. That's right. Amen. It, it will not point to to bearing the fruits na seasonal. It should not be seasonal na if if flooded tayo ng blessings, na, nagpo-flow din yung fruit ng Holy Spirit. So, whether whether mahirap yung condition natin or whether sobrang blessed tayo, the fruit of the Holy Spirit should always be there. Okay? In the same way na the Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ganun ka consistent yung ating Panginoon. So, in showing that fruit, we should also be consistent. Next to it, incomplete fruit. Incomplete fruit, kasi di ba, the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, yung sabi ko, it's one fruit, pero it has nine, nine parts, or nine elements. Kung anong gusto niyo sabihin? Okay, na, uh, nine parts or nine elements, yung fruit of the Holy Spirit. Why incomplete fruit? Tulad nung slide, yung first slide kanina, about the fruit. Maybe one is missing, the other one can be missing, or another one can be missing. When Satan, when, when Satan, kung gusto tayong, uh, we know na Satan is doing his best para malayo tayo sa Diyos. Same with the fruit. It's enough for Satan na hindi kompleto yung fruit. Satan will not aim na tanggalin lahat ng fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because if the, if, if the, if the, If the fruit is not complete, it's not acceptable if it's not complete. So yun lang yung habol niya, wag lang makumpleto ang fruit. If the if yung all nine is there tapos biglang hatred ang ang nagde-dwell in sa tao, Satan will feed on that hatred para hindi magbunga yung love. Okay? Okay, why is the fruit incomplete? First question that could come kung bakit hindi incomplete ang fruit is is it eaten by the worm? Napag-sharingan dati for sure I think napag na-discuss na, na, na din dito sa pulpit yung sa uh, sa um, Joel chapter 1 verse 4 the palmer worm the locust yung canker worm the worms If memory service me right yung unang kinain was the fruit So Considering it this way, pag kinakagat na yung fruit, yung unang kinain is yung fruit. If we are the branch, uh, if we are the branches, and one of that branches may bunga, yun yung unang kinakagat ng 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 worm. Kung nakakagat dun yung worm, part of that fruit, let me say love, kagatay ng worm. The love is gone. What happens if the love is gone? Hate. Let me say yung kinain ng fruit ng worm is Peace. Absence of peace, kung tandaan nyo kanina, it's conflict. Malalaman ba natin yon agad? No. We will only know if, kung, titing, kung magre-reflect tayo ulit, tapos mapapansin natin, bakit full of hate na ako, wala na akong love? Bakit hindi na, bakit hindi na peaceful yung, yung soul ko? Bakit parang conflicted na ako? Because, brothers and sisters, the worm, kumagat yan, hindi nagpapaalam sa puno yan. Hindi nagpapaalam sa branch yan. Nakakainin ko yung fruit mo. Hindi magpapaalam yan. Basta lang, kung pwede siyang kumain, pwede siyang kumagat, kakainin niya yan. Okay? Now, if the worm, okay, is, is an enemy, if the worm is kampon ni Satan, okay, we have to bear in mind na There is power from the Lord. The Lord said that there's power na um, ay, dun sa Luke chapter 10 verse 19 na Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy including that worm. So if we reflect na mapapansin natin na wala nang love, unti-unti nang nawawala yung love, go back to the vine. Ask help from the vine. So, same with, there are some plants na meron silang, meron silang defensive mechanism. 
yung natural may 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 may, may, oh, may natural mechanism sila na yung iba hindi sila madadapuan ng ng mga insects. Yes. Go back to the vine. Ask the vine. Ask call from the vine na unti-unti nang nawawala yung love, unti-unti nang nawawala yung peace. Ask help from the vine that maybe for sure the vine will give you nourishment to build that 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 love again, that peace and other elements of or other parts of that fruit. Okay? Next. Next reason kung bakit uh, incomplete ang fruit is that subconsciously we are unaware na we are been driven away from the vine. What I mean here is instead of getting nourishment from the vine because the branch hindi na siya dependent sa pagkuha ng nourishment sa vine hindi na siya ganun ka-submissive um, parang hindi niya, niya tinatanggap yung nourishment from it how to relate it sa spiritual spiritual one of it is natatanda yung church ages yung church ages Everyone went out and then it stopped. For sure, before they went out, they got nourishment from the vine, which caused them to be strong enough to go out. Pero when they went out, instead of continuing its growth, it stopped getting nourishment from the vine and that's why it stopped. Okay? Part of it also is that maybe yung dating fruit, yung fruit na meron sila, nahaluan naluha ng something that is that something that is not pure which means the fruit has been corrupted and because of that it's not bearing anymore the acceptable fruit same way na yung sa unleavened bread few drops lang ng ng yeast it will cause the bread to 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 grow na parang lolobo same also with the fruit an impurity mix a part a part or let me say a particle of uh, a particle of impurity mixed on a fruit makes it impure. No matter which part, sa nine, nine parts of that fruit, it will cause the whole fruit to be impure. Okay? Next is, so maybe subconsciously, we are unaware na we are already separating from the vine. Why unconsciously na separating from the vine? An example of it, brothers and sisters, is that yung let me say, a blessing. A blessing that we thought that is coming from, from God. Pero it's not. And then that blessing causes us to separate from the vine. Example, yung sinasabi na binigyan, nagkaroon ng grocery, biglang hindi na makakasama sa service, biglang hindi na makakasama sa sharing. Hindi na makakasama. Why? Because but ma, ma, may ma, may meron siyang pinapangalagaan na na grocery of which akala niya yung grocery is blessing from God pero hindi it's a it's a blessing that that brings us away from God is not a blessing from God Amen. which means having that said posible maghahanap ng paraan yung kalaban yung satan para mapalayo lang tayo and for sure pag dumating yung ganun kaya nga unconsciously separating hindi naman in a snap sasabihin ng believer, ay, hindi na ako dyan kasi mayroon na ako nito. No. It will be one step at a time. Mga hindi sa, 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 sa sharing, hindi mo sa share hanggang hindi na sa service, hanggang wala na. It's that. H- hindi naman ganun kasi ka-obvious yung, hindi ganun ka-obvious kumilis yung kalaban eh. Unless, unless we know what the enemy really is capable of doing. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, we have to understand na Sabi natin, Panginoon, we are called to perfection. Okay, we are called to perfection just as our Heavenly Father. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. We should also be perfect. So, if we should be perfect, the fruit that we bear should be perfect. Amen. Okay? Next, because also, we have to understand na if the fruit we have pala is not perfect, then for sure, baka hindi na tayo part ng true vine. Baka hindi na tayo part ng perfect tree. Kasi a perfect tree brings forth 
perfect fruit. A good tree brings forth good fruit. Okay? A corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit and corrupt, corrupted fruit. Okay? Now, if the fruit is not complete, which means the fruit is not acceptable, tulad na nabasa natin kanina, yun sa, sa reference kanina na my father is the husband man. If the fruit is not there, if the fruit is not acceptable, baka we're not aware na we have already been, not the, maybe we're not aware na the person has already been removed from the true vine. Because he has been removed, casted out from the true vine, tinanggal na siya dun. And because unti-unti, may, may, may trace pa dun yung fruit, corrupted fruit, maybe we're not aware na nung pinutol yung branch, sabi natin pinutol ng, ng farmer, pinutol ng branch yung farmer, for sure hindi naman pagputol ng, ng, ng farmer nung branch, pag pagkahulog ng branch sa ground, malalanta agad na in an instant. Most like, sa, sa, sa real world, it's not like that. Aabutin pa yan ng araw bago malanta talaga. Together with that corrupted fruit. Maybe when that happens, since that corrupted fruit is there, ang akala ng believer, meron pa siyang fruit, pero hindi niya alam, corrupted na pala yung fruit. Maybe he's not aware, Satan, the enemy, which finds ways to deceive the believer, kinuha niya yung branch na, 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 na natanggal, green enough niya, nilagay niya, or green enough niya, insert niya dun sa evil tree niya. And because of that, it's been grafted into the evil tree, slowly tumatanggap ng nourishment yung branch from an evil tree. So, from the fruit na corrupted, slowly, slowly it will change. What's yung yung parts sa mga fruit na nawala, for sure, baka mapapalitan. Okay? Now, having that said sa mga patid, point of reflection. Are we still attached to the vine? To the true vine? When I say the vine, yeah. To the true vine. Yung mga kasagot, well, there's a way for us to know The only way for us to know is to check on the fruit that we have. Is our fruit still complete? If not complete, maybe is our fruit wavering na ba na, example, yung love, on-off, on-off na ba yung love? Yung peace, on-off, on-off na ba yung peace? Baka unti-unti nang kinakain ng worm. Okay? Next, mga kapatid, remember the saying na, um, Go no, go no place would you not want to be found if Jesus should come. That being said, when our Lord Jesus Christ comes, will we be able to perfectly present His fruit that is in us? Or baka pagdating ng Panginoon, pag, pag mabibigla lang tayo yung fruit pala sa atin, it's not acceptable anymore because it's not perfect. Okay? And I hope sana... When, when our Lord Jesus Christ come, we are in that place, in that kind of place, in that kind of state na we are acceptable. And also our fruit is acceptable. That being said, mga kapatid, I pray, well, I pray and I, I hope, I hope also, unang Diyos, nawa naman, pati, lahat tayo dito, pati dun yung mga nakikinig sa akin, mga in, sa mga sariling bahay, nawa naman wala sa atin yung nagkakaroon na ng corrupted fruit. More so, nawa naman, wala sa atin na natanggal na sa true vine. So, the only way for us to know, unang Diyos, is to reflect back again and check on the fruit that we have, if it's still acceptable. So, brothers and sisters, God bless. Tayo na po tayo.